afternoon and welcome back. Today I'm doing another foundation video and the foundation I am doing today is by Avon and it's called the True Colour Flawless Cream to Powder Foundation. So it comes in a box like that. I've actually got two of the foundations, so two shades and the shades I have are Dark Cocoa and uh, Rich Espresso. So in the UK the foundation comes in 18 shades and in America it comes in 21 shades. So if I show you the shade I've got here which is, yeah this one is the Rich Espresso colour which I think is the darkest shade. So the container is opened like this, so it's a compact and it opens like this she says. I can't open it. Right, how do you open the bloody thing? So it's a compact that looks like this and it opens with a little button in the side and you open it, it has a mirror. So mirrors up there. That's the foundation in there and it has the sponge underneath like that. So I have two shades and this is the Rich Espresso. And the other shade I have is the Dark Cocoa, which looks like that. Okay, so let me read a bit of information about the foundation. I'm in the UK, the regular price in the UK is £12 and it's down to £6.50. And in America, it's down from $12 to $8.99. And as I said, it comes in 21 shades in America. I don't know if I can show that to you, but those are the shades in America. I hope you can see that. I'm trying to make sure the sun doesn't show on the screen, but I hope you can see those shades there. So it's quite a good range of colours. You've got you've got about four or five light shades there, a fair amount of medium shades, and, and you've got a good amount of dark to deep shades there. So on the American website, it is described as a smooth powder finish. Avon True Colour Flawless Cream to Powder Foundation, a cream to powder foundation that blends effortlessly, I can never say that word, and feels lightweight. So the benefits are, it's broad spectrum SPF 15, and it's SPF 15 in the UK as well, it's fragrance free, it combines the glide on application of a cream with the texture of a powder, it erases signs of fatigue, it won't settle into pores, skin feels moisturised, yeah, I've got very oily skin, so I'm a little bit concerned about that. It blends effortlessly <laughs> over the skin. It stays colour true all day. Super lightweight on skin, weightless feel. Dermatologist tested, flawless powder finish, oil free, total complete coverage. And it says to use, apply with the sponge included with the product. So it says Avon True Colour means the colour you buy is the colour you apply. Now all your favourite lipsticks, glosses, eyeshadows and nail enamel have Avon's acclaimed True Colour technology designed to give you the natural flawless look you want, nothing less. Rich pigments are blended into our high quality formula to guarantee colour that stays true all day. So I'm assuming they're saying that um, it won't oxidise on the skin. That's what the American site says, let's see what the UK site says. But the UK site looks like that, hope you can see that. Okay, so it's £6.50 in the UK, 18 shades, um, and it says about me, it says super lightweight formula, glides on as a cream with a light texture of a powder, formulated with true blue colour IQ technology for a perfect match that stays true all day, gives medium to full coverage, solid makeup transforms into a liquid during application, then dries to an either powder light finish. Cover spots and dark circles. Fast, easy application. Wears for eight hours. Now in 18 new shades with true blue colour IQ. SPF 15 and it's nine grams. Okay, so they're saying very similar things. So basically we're getting that it's lightweight, it's medium to full coverage. It's a cream to powder finish. The colour won't change because apparently it's true to colour. And it, they're saying it should wear for up to eight hours. The time now, what time is it now? It's actually quite late in the afternoon. It's, um, it's about 2.30, so by the time I apply this, it'll be a little bit later. So I try, I'll try and wear the foundation for at least six hours if I can, and then we'll see how it goes. For those of you who've never visited my channel before, hello and welcome. 
Um, so I'm an older woman. I've got very, very oily skin. And I mean very, very oily. Not like those people who say they've got oily skin and they've got a little bit of oil on their T-zone. I have got very oily skin and I get oil that breaks through usually within two hours. Um, all over my face not just the t-zone so when I test out foundations I'm hoping for that they will control my oils for at least up to four hours if they um, if oil does break through I'm hoping that it's not a complete breakthrough and I look like an oily mess it's, it's a minimum breakthrough so what I normally do when I test the foundations, I don't normally blot because I want to see how the foundation performs for the time that I'm wearing it. So that's what I'll be doing today. Okay, so I have already cleansed, moisturized my skin, obviously, because look at the time of the day. Um, I have already uh, color corrected. I've done my eyebrows, just a basic eyebrow. I'm not going out anywhere today, so it's going to be a very basic and simple look today. Okay, the main aim today is to test out the foundations. So as I said, I've got two shades here. So let's do a swatch to see how the what shade is going to be the best one for me. They both look very red in undertone. So I'm going to do the dark cocoa first. So let's get my mirror. And I'm going to do the dark cocoa swatch on my skin first. So it's very creamy. Actually feels very oily when I rub my fingers on it, which kind of worries me. But let's see how this goes. So let's do this colour swatch. So let's do it along here. Okay, so I can see that it's very red in undertone. Um, yeah, we can see it just along my, my face to my neck. So that's the dark cocoa shade. Let's do the Rich Espresso. So that's the Rich Espresso. Different finger. Yeah, I really don't like how it feels. It's very greasy in feeling, but we'll see. Right, okay. That's interesting. I... Oh, I don't know. The rich cocoa actually looks like it's the right colour for me. Um, assuming that it won't oxidise, I think I'm going to go with the rich cocoa. Oh, it's a weird one because I think the dark cocoa, oh, actually it does dry to a smooth finish. The, um, the dark cocoa actually matches my chest. Have I shown you my chest? So the dark cocoa actually matches my chest. Oh, I don't know what to do. Which shade? Uh, I'm gonna do the rich. The get it. Let's get this right. I'm gonna do the rich espresso and hope for the best. So let me just rub these off, and let's see how we go from there. And let's apply. Now they both come with a sponge, but I never use a sponge. I just I just got this thing about sponges. I think they're un unhygienic. So I can either use the beauty blender or I can use a stippling brush. So there's a stippling brush. There's my beauty blender. I'll do one on each side, one on the other. I think that's fair. And then see how they apply. Yeah, does that sound fair? All right, let's go for this. So let's use the beauty blender first. So I'm using the rich cocoa and let's see how this works. So do it like that. Does it pick up? I'm not sure if it's actually picking up, but um, let's see how it works. Okay, I am getting coverage, so let's see. It's very red in undertone, I can see that already. But that's what you tend to get with most foundations, I'm afraid. I've been very fortunate recently in trying foundations that have got neutral undertones. So I think I've been spoilt recently in the foundations I've been trying. Actually, that looks okay in the first application, doesn't it? That looks all right. Let's do a little bit more. It feels very light, very easy to apply. So there's no issues there, no resistance, no drag. Okay, I will say that's a very clear medium to full coverage. So that looks good. 
All right, so let's try this with the stippling brush. I do normally spray my brushes with a setting spray before I apply. I don't know how that works with compacts, but we shall find out. So with the, let's do it like that. That's how it looks. Right, let's do this. I don't know if that's applying anything. Is that applying anything? I don't know. I'm assuming it has applied. It just feels like I'm applying water on my face, but let's do a little bit more. You know when you usually feel like you can feel the product going onto your face, but this just feels like a very moist brush being rubbed on my face. Now it's definitely applying product, so I'll stop talking nonsense. It's definitely applying on my face. a very natural um, look very very natural indeed um, I think I actually um, prefer the beauty blender side to the brush side but I don't know if that's because this doesn't pick up as much product as the as a sponge I'm just doing one more layer right so I mean it looks good I'm, I'm actually quite pleased with how it looks let's have a look the colors okay it might you know it depends on what people like um, and I'm not quite sure how I feel about it yet the shade I would say is a little bit darker than my skin color but it's actually a shade I'm comfortable with I'd rather go a little bit darker than a little bit lighter I know some people prefer to go a shade lighter than darker on their face, but it's okay. It doesn't look too strange compared to my chest. Let's have a look at my chest on my face. I think it looks all right. Okay. So, sorry, I'm dressed very casually today. I'm just in my house dress. So, as I said, I'm not going anywhere today. So, yeah, I think that looks all right. Okay. Um, and it is, actually, now that I'm touching it, it feels very smooth. It does feel like I've got powder on. Also, transfers like crazy. Look at that. Ugh, yuck. Okay. So I think we've already scored it on the transfer. Um, talking of which, when I test foundations, I test it for the oil performance, obviously. I test it for um, the performance. I'm looking to see if it fades, melts or separates and if the foundation transfers. So I already know that it transfers. It <laughs> I am going to set the foundation a little bit, so I'm just going to put a little bit of face powder on, so I'll do that now. Okay, so face is set. Let me just finish the rest of my makeup and I'll come back to you in a moment. Okay, so the makeup is all done. This is how it looks now. This is the finished look. Time now is coming up to three o'clock, so my apologies, it was a very late start to the day today. I really wasn't going to do a makeup video at all but I thought I've got a little bit of time so I'll do that um, so yeah this is the finished look so my intention is to wear the foundation for at least four hours if I can I'm gonna try and go for six hours so that's gonna what, take me up to about nine o'clock um, the foundation promises at least eight hours of wear so if I do come back about um, about eight o'clock nine o'clock the daylight will probably go so I may be using the ring light so it will have a different effect but we'll see how it goes and see what the daylight's like then okay so I'll see you later take care bye good evening and welcome back I'm here to give my final thoughts and review of the foundation I was testing today and the foundation I was testing was the Avon True Colour Flawless Cream to Powder Foundation which comes in a compact like this and it's a cream foundation like so and there's the sponge this is the colour I was wearing today which was dark cocoa okay so I've been wearing this foundation for about six hours, 
yeah, just over six hours now. They say the foundation um, can give up to eight hours flawless wear. I wasn't willing to wear the foundation for that long, basically because I applied it quite late in the day. I think I applied it about quarter to three this afternoon. So, and this is about the time of day when I normally do take foundation off and sort of get clean and bare skin. So the time now, as you can see, it's 10 to nine. So it's about six hours I've been wearing a foundation for. So two hours short of the, of the eight hours they promise. Well, let's have a look and see how this foundation has performed on my skin so just to remind you i have got very very oily skin um, when i'm testing out a foundation i tend to not blot because i want to see how the foundation performs in controlling my oil so um, i can say that the oil started to break through with this foundation after about three hours it wasn't a, a massive breakout but I'd say about five o'clock, six o'clock, I did start noticing when I was passing mirrors that I started to get an oily T-zone area. And then after that, it literally just oil everywhere. It's like once the oil starts to produce, that's it, there's no stopping it. So as you can see, my face is covered in oil now. I'll be reviewing the foundation on three areas, on oil control, the performance, so has the foundation faded, melted or separated, and on the transfer. Now, Earlier on today, um, when I was applying the foundation, I did touch my face and I could already see that the foundation transfers quite badly already. So the score on that is going to be low. The other thing I, I, I like to look at, but I don't normally score right, is the shade selection. Now in the UK, this foundation comes in um, 18 shades and it's got a fairly decent shade selection. So it's got very fair to fairly dark. I wouldn't say that it's got the fairest of the fair colours and I wouldn't say it's got the darkest of the dark colours. So if those of you who are very fair and those of you who are very deep, this foundation may not cater for you. But for those of you who are sort of um, light beige -y kind of colours up to my colour and a little bit darker, I think you can just, you can, you'll be catered for. But anything deeper than me, probably not. But it depends on how good you are at manipulating foundations. I'm not very skilled in that area, but if you are, you might be able to make it work for you. Right, so let's have a look at the oil, shall we? I mean, I can actually feel the oil on my face, so that's, that's saying something really straight away. So as you can see, the oil has broken out all over my face. It's fairly even, yeah, there's no area that has not been subjected to oil breakthrough. Let's have a look at the performance to see if the foundation has faded, if it's melted or separated. Being a, a, an oily skinned person, what tends to happen when foundations start to get really oily on me, the, the foundation literally does start to separate and it, it melts away and the oils almost make it just slip off my face. And the areas that tend to get and um, suffer first are my forehead and usually my temple upper cheek area as well. So those are the areas I'm going to look at now. So looking at my forehead, we can see that it hasn't actually faded that badly. Have a quick look. It hasn't faded at all actually, it's not bad up there at all. Looking at the side of my face, I mean I can still see the blush, I can still see the highlight. And again, on an oily skin person, the highlight and the oil just melt into one. So I am very highlighted right now. So the yeah, so you can see that the oil is all over my face but you can still see a little bit of the contour and the blush my chin again there's no fading or separation there and on the other side of my face have a quick look again yeah it's still not too bad on the other side of my face so I think on performance that's not too bad at all so if I was to give these a score out of 10 for oil control for six hours wear I am going to give this um, a good seven eight seven seven and a half out of ten let me go seven and a half out of ten because this isn't bad actually it's not bad at all especially for six hours worth of wear so not bad at all actually i'm, I'm going to be a little bit more generous than that. i'm going to give this an eight out of ten because i think on a normal day i would be blotting so not bad at all for performance i am going to give this um actually i'm going to give this a nine out of ten because it hasn't faded melted or separated at all and I think for me on a normal work day, I'll be wearing a foundation for maybe, what, say eight hours. It looks like this would actually perform for me and it wouldn't look too embarrassing 
um, during a, a work day for me. So I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10 for performance. And for transfer, well, I think the main thing to do here to test it, I can use a um, kitchen towel or I can just use my blotting sheet. So let's go with a blotting sheet test because that's what I normally do. So for transfer, when I use the blotting sheet, I tend to get, I'll see how much oil is on my skin and I also see how much it transfers. So I expect to see quite a lot of foundation on the sheets when I do my um, blotting sheet test. So let's do this. So as we all know, the worst foundation I ever tried that used five sheets completely soaked. So I'm just trying to open this thing. Right, so the, the worst foundation when it came to oil control for me used five of these sheets and it completely, utterly soaked it with oil. And the best foundations tend to use two, two and a half sheets for me. So let's see how this one goes. So sheet one, forehead first. Okay, so we can see a bit of oil up there and we can see foundation. So oil and foundation there. So that's sheet number one. Sheet two. You can see how much oil's coming off there. Right, so that's sheet two, lots of oil, lots of foundation. Sheet three. Look at that, completely soaked as well. So that's sheet three. So completely soaked with oil and a foundation. So I think I'll just get a number four in just to do a mop up, to see how much comes out on this. But I don't expect to use much more than four sheets here. So we'll just do the sheet just to mop up my face. Oops. Okay. So that's sheet four, not much oil, but still lots of uh, foundation transfer. So I say three and a half sheets of blotting sheets there. So will that change my score? I think, right, so what did I say for performance? I think for performance, I'm still going to keep it at nine out of ten. For oil control, I said eight. I'm going to reduce that down to uh, seven and a seven, seven and a half. Not quite sure yet. By the time I do the review, I'll have decided between which score. So it's going to be a seven or a seven and a half out of ten. And for transfer, well, obviously it wasn't very good. So I think we're looking at a one or a one out of ten for that. So the final score out of thirty for this foundation is going to be oh, I can't add. It's either going to be sixteen. Um, it's either going to be sixteen, seventeen out of thirty, or it's going to be seventeen and a half out of thirty. But I think for oily skinned people, I think this foundation is pretty good. As long as you know just to bring your um, blotting sheets, blotting powder or whatever you use to, to mattify your face. The primer I used today was my, the primer I used for every time I'm testing out a foundation. And that's the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. So I always use that. And that's a very good oil controlling foundation if you've got a very oily skin. So I always use that. So I did use that. Um, so use a good primer. Obviously this foundation will do its job as long as you remember those things. And again, just make sure you've got blotting sheets, blotting powder, whatever you may need to control your oils during the day. So yes, I would definitely recommend this foundation and I would give this a, a thumbs up. Actually, I'd give it a double thumbs up. Okay, so thank you very much for watching today. If you've got any comments or there's anything you want to discuss about this foundation or any other foundations that um, you'd like me to try or, or you've tried or if, if you've tried this foundation, let me know how you've got on with it. But thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed as yet, please don't forget to subscribe down below. And if you press a little bell next to the subscribe button, it will let you know when I do another upload. And please don't forget to give me a like. Those likes are very appreciated by us people who are doing YouTube videos. It helps to make sure our videos are seen. Okay, so take care and thank you very much for watching. Bye.